Well, you can't have Easter without Easter eggs. And every day is an Easter egg hunt here at Meyer's <laughs> Family Farm, which doubles as the home of Samantha and Dustin Meyer. It also serves as the home of that slew of chickens you saw there, multiple goats. And what's this one's name? <laughs> that is Annie. Annie, how do you remember all these names? Oh, I have an Excel spreadsheet <laughs> that helps a lot of the time. <laughs> a dog, Stroker, and a pig named Spotty McBacon. But we are here for the science behind the egg. These girls need about 14 to 16 hours of sunlight to lay an egg. So it's one of those when those days are shorter, there's not enough sunlight to get an egg made. We take for granted the fact that we have eggs year round. Naturally, that's not the case. All right, so these are our great roll away nest boxes, and they're great because the eggs roll away from the hen, so none of them get broken, they can't get dirty, and you can pick them up and touch them. Oh, they're I probably can? still fresh and warm. I can't. Oh, warm. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Since the coop is exposed to ambient air temperature, the chickens simply rely on body heat while laying the egg. But they'll sit in here anywhere from five minutes to about a half an hour before they lay their egg and then when they're done they get out and start free ranging again. Samantha says that it is normally right around the end of daylight saving time when egg production starts to decline. It's super hot we don't get as many eggs because they're spending more time trying to stay cool and then when it rains so this, we're not getting sun because it's cloudy we'll see a decrease in eggs for the next following day because there's not enough sunlight to make that egg for them. All weather aside, one thing's for sure, when these hens are in the process of producing, they like their privacy. That's what, if she will make that noise again, let's see. Yeah, that's her telling you that she wants her Said, private time. Leave me mm -hmm. alone. Brown, white, blue, or green. They're all the same on the inside. So you don't even have to dye any mm -hmm. type of Easter nope. eggs in this house. <laughs> uh, they come out naturally this way. Well, the chickens help feed Samantha and her family. But what does Samantha feed the chickens to make them taste so good? So we actually partnered with our local food pantry here in KD, and this is all food waste that would be in a landfill. That it's not human grade food anymore. So you get a couple that has like a soft spot or it's gone bad and nobody wants to eat mold. Um, so we take the mold off and everything else on here goes into the compost. The birds eat it and in turn make those yolks a lot richer and more flavorful in the eggs. It's a natural recycler. Meyer Family Farm will be open this Easter weekend, making a great place to take the family for a real-life Easter egg hunt. Samantha even noted that Mr. Rabbit himself might make an appearance. In the end, this experience, it's sweeter than a basket of candy.